everybody out there, the Misadventures crew. We are here in Ontario, California for the Mar uh, Marvel, the Comic Revolution. And so it's time for uh, another Misadventures in toy hunting. We're going to go check out and see what we can find in there. Um, we've gone and done these a few times, right? Yep. So People seem to like it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> So, so we we're going to go inside, and as you can see from over there, Sam, we got a, a lot of cosplayers already out going inside. There's a long line. I'm um, hungry. Then there's cars over there. You see, I can zoom in for you guys here. The little girl right there is the Hamburglar. Oh, is that what that is? The yeah. Hamburglar? Ham or is your, your president Hamburglar? So there was a few others. There was like a Chung Lee out here. There was a, a couple of Harley yeah. Quinns. Some broke looking Rainbow Bright. <laughs> broke looking. So we're going to go inside. And you guys, if you didn't get a chance to go, you can follow us inside. And I think Sin was talking about possibly maybe even doing a live. Yep. So follow us in and enjoy the hunt. thousand dollar t-shirts <laughs> I don't know babe should we do commentary should we not do commentary that we could okay so here's golden girls <laughs> <laughs> <Golden> <laughs> And then here's the 2X t-shirts that Tim's looking at over here. That's actually a pretty good deal for these shirts. They're, uh, what there's they? one for 10 or three for 20. 20. So we'll see what we come up with. box for a hundred. Dang. Here's a packet for twelve. So all right, I'll go through a couple of these. Here's what they have. There's the prices for some of these as you can see. We'll do one more here. So there you go folks for anybody that collects Pokemon cards. Okay, down here Tim found some graphic novels. I'm not sure how much these are, but this is what they look like. There was two different Harley Quinn ones. There's Deadpool, uh, Death of Superman, Howard the Duck, uh, Preacher, Deadpool, Deadpool and Cable, a couple Batmans and Power Rangers. Here's an Aquaman one. So there's a couple of busts right there. There's Wolverines, Wonder Woman, Iron Man. We'll have to come back around. So, <laughs> before I show you what Tim just saw, like, yeah, here's Andre the Giant. I want him. There's Warrior, but uh, I want him too. I know this is going to be expensive. 20 bucks for, um, what's his name? Samuel L. Jackson right there. Here's Dolph Lundgren. Tommy Gunn. Tommy Gunn. Here's Adrian. Here's Rocky. That's pretty cool. These are like old um, school. Look at that. Brett Musburger. <laughs> this is one of those things where 
Cindy's like, oh, no. I wish I had money. There's some, I don't know if you can see that all the way over there, but there's some Conan's. Here's some old school wrestlers. Look around, see what you got. Look around. Hey, how you doing? All right, so here are some characters. Here is Undertaker. Who is this? Larry, Larry something is right there. Um, here's some heads. Godzilla. Some Dragon Ball Z stuff down here. Along with Power Rangers. These would be cool to put up on my collection. Dang. And then right here, Beefcake. That'd be cool. Here's some little tiny wrestlers here. Open Rockies are here. So, for those of you that are still wondering about Pokemon cards, I found another vendor out here that's selling some stuff. So, let's see here. Uh, some are being sold for 50 bucks. These are 35, 80, 90, 50. Those are 80 down over here in the corner. Oh, you're good. Here are some pops that you really pops. don't see at the stores. Here's a Supergirl, here's Cobra Commander, Raiden, oh, uh, ooh, glitter. We need a poo. <laughs> <I> need. <laughs> William Wallace, ooh, Hulk Hogan, 60 bucks. Here's a $20 Reagan. Um, she'd be cool to pick up because we're going to Monster Palooza and we could get her stuff signed. Yeah. There's a Superman, there's a Ryu. So, and up there, there's another Cobra Commander. Uh, there's a Faker, a She Hulk, and a Leatherface. Uh, yeah, El Diablo. Alright. Okay, so here we are. This place says guest area, but. This guy's from uh, Walking Dead. Guy, the guy right behind me. The one that I'm filming right yeah. now? Oh, cool. So these Beta. Sons of Anarchy Saving Private Ryan. So we're here right now in the area <laughs> with the, um, I guess the celebrities are. So... So let's see who we have. Here is Olivia Hack. There's Cassandra Lee Morris. These are voice actors. Um, here's Robert Picardo, Denise Crosby, Tara Strong. I don't know who this really long line is for. No clue at all, but okay. It might be for this over here. Apparently these are the New Age Outlaws, um, wrestlers for those that don't know. Um, here are the female wrestlers, and here's Damian Clark. <gasps> Comic book men are down here. What? Oh, and Claudia Wells. Fast Times, Back to the Future, you guys might remember her. She was the OG girlfriend to Marty McFly. And there they are, folks. There's Ming. <laughs> All right, so so uh, here we are, the old school uh, cube and the Nintendo 64. Tim just got excited right now. We There's haven't a seen. Two, yo. Yeah, we haven't seen gaming <laughs> consoles like Nintendo. this in so long. So here's some of the games, of course, all Pokemon. Well, there's two Zeldas. Old school Game Boys. So, cards. yep, four, <laughs> some of them are five. Um, oh, let's see here. TMNT, Lego, Star Wars, here's the dartboard. Down here is a little Guardians of the Galaxy for you. Here's Transformers, Star Wars. Star Wars all the way up, and then you got Trek, Godzilla, and Godzilla some more Star Wars. 
And this is their booth here. Um, back there you'll see the R2D2, a couple of others, a bunch of Star Wars, ET something in there. Maddie Collector's stuff right here. Batman and Robin Hood. Oh, Godzilla. Okay, so now we're going into an area called I Have Those Toys, and let's see what they have. say that I'm gonna go live right now and, and announce oh. this on our Instagram hardly anybody follows that right now though but for those of you that come to conventions please remember to wear deodorant <laughs> because for those of us that are like five three and under five, three. <laughs> we're like armpit level and we can smell you and it's it's funky so please deodorant brush your teeth thanks hmm. So right here are the Stargates. You guys just saw me flash the action figure set for Star Wars. Um, Colonel O'Neill, Daniel. Um, yeah, that that's pretty cool. And then here's a couple of the loose figures over here. There's just so much. This is a lot more than the last time we came. It's like Series 3 or something. So here we are at Alan's AMG Comics. Um, Tim reminded me that, okay, so when we go to places like this, it becomes very claustrophobic sometimes, and either I or he will start not freaking out, but what would you call it, babe? Uh, I want to say like, uh, not antsy, but anxiety. Yeah. So mine is acting up right now. Tim's is pretty calm, but he reminded me that we can't just walk through these quickly. <laughs> so I'm having to take deep breaths. So Tim's gonna, I'll record, but Tim's gonna start talking about the comics he's viewing right now. So, so I can calm my nerves. <laughs> so this is uh, the Silver Surfer, I think series three. These are like uh, comics I was reading of the Silver Surfer. Um, I don't know what really turned me on to the Silver Surfer, but I really like Silver Surfer comics. Um, I can't wait for Marvel to do a Silver Surfer movie. So, um, I was hoping to find, oh, that's cool. I was hoping to find some Spawn comics as well. Oh, I have that. So this is counted as series two, I believe. It's a story by um, Stan Lee and art by uh, Bishima. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I do actually, I think I have a couple of them. This one's better graded and all that. But these are actually cool. 20 bucks, not bad for this really good story, good art. Highly recommend picking that up if you haven't got it. 
Uh, what else we got? I was also looking at the stuff up there too. Let me got, zoom in a bit for everyone. Here we got spawn number one. It looks like it's probably signed by Todd McFarlane up there in the top corner at 9.6. We've got Todd McFarlane Spider-Man 9.8. Yes. We got the first appearance of the Tarantula on Peter Parker's spectacular uh, Spider-Man. Then we have this post over here, which is pretty cool. Signed by Neil Adams, art by Neil Adams. Who has recently oh, yeah, passed away? Oh, recently down. passed away. Um, I actually got the pleasure of meeting him. He was a really cool guy. He let you sit next to him, talk yeah. to him for a while, sign a whole bunch of stuff for you. That'd probably be pretty cool to have right there, that 9.4 up there. So for those of you that are a fan of the John Carpenter movies, um, this is his area here with his wife, Sandy King, who is right there in the corner. Um, they have some super cool comics and stuff that they're writing. Um, they really do their research for some of these really cool comics. We have some of their early stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, if you ever get a chance, check them out. They're pretty cool. They're, they're tradebacks right here from Halloween Night and Night Terrors. The stories are actually really cool. And if you ever find them online, um, I would highly suggest reading this one right here called Asylum. Good stuff. Hello. Okay. So here we are at another booth and they have a whole bunch of wrestlers here. Sam Zayn, Hitman, there's uh, Stone Cold, Drew McIntyre, here's a couple of the Ultimates. I have these Undertaker and Kane. Um, let's see here, a couple of t-shirts. Here's a pop pin up here for the Ultimate Warrior. Here's some cups. Here's Mustafa Ali. Pretty cool. 